Hi, and welcome to the new Twitbin video. My name is Brian, and I'll be walking you through getting started with Twitbin. So, um, let's assume that you've already installed Twitbin from the Mozilla add-on site or twitbin.com, and you'll see that there's a little Twitbin bird icon in the, the toolbar. So, to get started, we'll add a new account. If you notice on twitter.com, I'm not logged into any account. So, here we go. So I have to log in. I have my password saved, and I will authorize the app. You'll notice I get a PIN code. This is new. This allows Twitter to maintain security uh, and uh, ensure your account doesn't get compromised. And the PIN allows us to keep you logged in even uh, when you're not logged into twitter.com. So I'll add user, I'll log in, and you'll see I have my public stream here. This is my main feed. I have my mentions feed, the at symbol. I have my direct messages, and I can send a direct message to myself. So I, s I can see my favorites, my lists, searches, search for, then I can initiate a search. See, here are the results. Um, here's how I tweet. When I'm done, I hit click tweet and it'll send. I can set my preferences here, set my reload rate, refresh rate, I can switch positions left or right, and I can also set a local password. This will prevent other people from automatically logging into my Twitter account on, uh, on this computer. And uh, you'll notice something neat in every single one of our new, uh, in the new version is if you right click, you can load a profile on Twitter, you can unfollow follow, you can report spam, block, copy the text, and you can also click on the time frame and it'll take you to the new version, to that uh, link directly, reply, retweet, or favorite the link in line. You only see these options when you're mousing over. And with that, that's the new, uh, the new Twitter, a Twitbin. Thanks. Next time you log in, you just click on your icon and boom, it'll load your results. To close out permanently and sign out, you click on the X. If you just want to keep it running in the background, but close the sidebar, you click on the bird icon. Thanks.